Hi everyone. So it's our Saturday night workout, um, and usually I put up a Saturday night stretch workout for you all, but tonight I'll actually be doing a quick tutorial on how to use one of these. So we're actually gonna use a foam roller instead of just doing our traditional stretches. Um, I'm actually gonna show you how to utilize this tool for your recovery uh, and to manage uh, injuries that you may have as well. So little aches and pains and needles. These are, are very good for acute injuries, can often resolve chronic injuries that you've had for a long time as well, depending on the injury. But but at the end of the day, if you're pulling up sore from training, if you're stiff, if you're tight, this will help. The foam roller can definitely help. So what the foam roller is, it's basically you doing self-massage, okay? So the technical term for it is self-myofascial release. That basically means that you are performing it on your own to yourself. Uh, myofascial is your fascia, your, your muscle connective tissue or your muscle tissue. Um, and then release is releasing those muscles from being tight. So when your muscles train hard and you use them, they often bind up and they get really, really tight and you feel like you've got those knots those aches through the muscle, um, that can give you pain and discomfort as well, and, and that can come through the form of delayed muscle onset soreness where you know you train really hard, do something new, or give yourself something hard to do that's a new stimulus, and you do pull up sore the next couple of days. Well, the foam roller can help because applying massage to those muscles and applying that sort of pressure will help those muscles to release from their spasm or from their tension and they will relax. And in that relaxed state, we feel good. So the idea is we don't want to be all tight and bound up and our muscles to be all you know, tensioned up. We want them to be relaxed and at their full length and therefore they're going to work better as well. So for performance benefits, the foam roller is really good too, guys. So what I'll do is I'll put together a couple of the different positions. I'll get the, um, the titles to uh, the different positions there underneath in the video as to what muscle groups we're targeting. But you'll be able to follow along at home and try and emulate the positions that I do on the foam roller just to help treat the different muscle groups um, that we're targeting uh, in certain positions, guys. So have a watch, follow along, grab your foam roller if you have one of these at home. If not, Head down to us, you know, Rebel Sport. You can buy these online as well. Kmart sell them now. Um, this one here, guys, is a little bit harder because it's got the PVC inside and then the foam on the outside. We actually use just a PVC pipe. A lot of um, powerlifters and myself, we just jump on a PVC pipe for the, the pressure that that can give. The foam sort of doesn't really apply as hard a pressure as we need because we want that massage to be nice and firm. Um, and then there are foam rollers that are made completely with foam, so the whole thing is foam, which means they squash a little bit. So the effectiveness is entirely up to how hard you want to go with the treatment. Um, it's like when you go to a massage therapist, what type of pain can you handle when they're applying the pressure to massage you? So, you know, this is you applying that pressure to yourself. Also guys, it's important to note with foam rolling, um, make sure that when you're applying the pressure to your body that you are applying pressure to your muscles, not any bony parts of your body, okay? So you don't wanna be sitting on bone. Um, you wanna be making sure that you are massaging and rolling through the muscle, yeah? And what we call the muscle belly, which is like the, the thick part of the muscle, not you know, like up in your shoulder here, you don't want to be rolling on the bony parts, you want to be rolling through the muscle, okay? And that includes areas like your glutes, your hips, around your hip area, you don't want to be rolling through your hip bones, okay? You want to be making sure that you're rolling through the muscles of the legs, the hips, and the lower back. Definitely not down the middle of your back where your spine will sit as well. Um, make sure with regards to the technique of applying pressure that when you are rolling through those muscles and you find a knot, so when you roll past a spot that's a little bit sore or it can be quite painful if it's very knotted up, you want to sit on that for a little bit. Give it about 10 to 20 seconds, maybe even 30 seconds, just sitting on that sore spot and relax, breathe through it, try and let your body relax into that position. And then what will happen is that muscle will actually slowly start to release itself and then that pain will go away, it will dissipate over time. And that means that the pressure is good and that you are massaging that muscle and that it will release and relax. And then therefore you won't get as much pain when you're trying to do um, movements with it and you'll get more out of your performance as well. Uh, with that muscle being relaxed and not tight and tense. Okay, so that's a little bit of tips there. Um, with regards to doing your lower back area specifically, we do it where if you're lying down on the ground, we do one side at a time. So one leg will be straight, the other leg will be bent, and we manipulate the roller with the leg that's bent by moving our body forwards and backwards up and down the roller, okay? Um, a lot of the positions we do will be one side of the body at a time. 
So working through the glutes, you do one glute and then you switch over to the other side by changing your position a little bit. You'll see in the video the positions that I take for certain muscle groups, you do have to switch to the other side, okay? So you can't do both sides at the same time. However, say for example, things like your quads, your calves, your hamstrings, if your foam roller is long enough, yeah, so mine's a little bit shorter that I'm using in the video, if yours is a little bit longer, then you can potentially do both legs at the same time. So that's working on both quads at the same time, both hamstrings, both calves. Um, glutes, you'll definitely have to do one side at a time. And definitely with the lower back, I recommend doing one side of your lower back and then switching over to the other side, guys. Okay, have a go, follow along with the video, guys, and hopefully this gives you uh, a bit of relief, um, pain relief, and also improves your performance and teaches you a little bit about foam rolling.